Uh, hello, Free the Meerkat here. Welcome to the second episode of Let's Break Persona 3 Portable. Um, might as well talk to her, I guess. Um, I've, uh, I've gone rid of the overlay here because I'm making the assumption that this time the game will work properly and really hoping that it will. Yeah, okay, that's that's not helpful. Fair enough. It's um it's this, isn't it? Alright. There we go. So yes, it's portable because this is a PS3 version, which isn't supposed to be the best one, but still uh a good game so far in my opinion. I'm going out for a bit. Okay, I don't know you, but feel free. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry, I'm just getting a little practice. Nothing weird and secret going this on isn't here. This is a game, Akihiko. Look, I'm not going to read these out loud. But hopefully you'll have time to read them. How about that's probably... I don't know if that's a question or a statement. If it's a question, it's probably have a question mark at the end. I don't really see why I should tell you the answer to this. You're the one who wasn't paying attention in class, but... Alright, fine. I suppose if there's going to be a lot of dialogue that's not out loud, I might start reading the dialogue at some point. I was hoping I wouldn't have to. I thought I was quite charming already, but okay. Oh, he's back. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? You saw something strange. Like what? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Do you have another question? To welcome you, of course. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? There were only four students in this dorm. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. 
I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. I don't know, I've been going to bed uh, early an awful lot lately. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the bad pun. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. That's unusual. I assume. Working hard? So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. You can fit all of the stuff in your dorm. Okay. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. <sighs> this sucks. presents the Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kiricho Electronics. Kiricho Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. to me <laughs> hmm he's still sleeping the dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight you could say it's the hidden hour during this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return, that you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. I don't understand, but I don't think you're going to tell me anything. Thing more so I think what this is going to do is just repeat the same information he's just said hold on to this till we meet again Oh, okay. Uh... 
Uh, yo, man, I'm so sleepy today. In times like these, it's best to sleep during class. No, it isn't, Junpei. You even notice how how sometimes taking a nap in class makes you feel more refreshed than sleepy at home? What? Why do you have to be all serious? That feeling of being completely charged is awesome, but I'm screwed later since I don't didn't hear the lecture. Oh, but we have classic literature today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Nasty or the Echoda. Hmm. I'm Mr. Echoda. I'll be teaching you classic literature. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all year. Some people say classic letters isn't relevant to everyday life, but oh, how they're wrong. Students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. Hi, are you listening to me? Wake up, children. Now open your textbooks. First in our syllabus is IC Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might call it the bomb. I can tell you people are zoning out. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we usually end up here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade, and oh, oh, this is where you come to rent out CDs, too. Then there's that club over there. But of course, uh, I've never seen the inside. Welcome back. The moon, the moon is beautiful tonight. It might be nice to read a book by moonlight once in a while. I don't know. I tend to think that since we have uh, electronic lights, There used to be a dorm mother here to do stuff like cooking, but there's just us students now. It'd be great to have somebody like that doing stuff for us, don't you think? I mean, I'm not a good cook, and Mitsuru Senpai just doesn't do things like that. It's like a treasure vault full of money we can't spend. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna talk to anyone else, but I'm gonna save. So, yeah, I don't really get the... Um, honorifics, like senpai, I don't know what all of them mean, but perhaps I don't have to. Yeah, you know what, I'm trying to... Alright, fine. Apparently, I uh, no longer the same button to go to the dorms as it was previously. Okay, I guess um, I need to do it this way now. Alright, while I'm here, let's look at the calendar. Nothing particularly interesting going on, but that's okay. Yep, no, it's generally do that. I suppose this room could be larger than a normal dorm room. The same as last night. Hmm, very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. But this subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard he's your classmate. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? Yeah, I guess, but still. Command room. 
Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. Right. Be careful. Akihiko! I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What the? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takiba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! Ha I'm going! Wake up! Sorry, I'm coming in! I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now! Hurry! We'll lead through the back door. Wait, take this, just in case. Okay, let's go. All right, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Yes, I hear you. Be careful, there's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? Uh, let's pull back. What was that? It's getting closer! Keep moving! Hurry! Oh, the door's locked. I think we're safe for now. Huh? I think we might have to fight this thing. Oh, that's interesting. Can it only see through that mask? You gotta be kidding me! It climbed up the wall? There. They're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait! That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh yeah, I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. Here it goes. <laughs> okay, guessing this gun doesn't do what most guns do when you throw them at your head. Is it over? <laughs> it's still moving! No! Get away from me! Ah, there we go. 
så har vi då. Uh, tack ska jag ha. Thanks. Um, guessing it's group tactics. Well, let's, let's just keep it simple for now. Ah, okay, so I'm guessing that 53 is HP and 41 is MP or something like that. I wonder what skills I have. Ah, ah, no, it might be the top one that's... Okay, HP, that's simple enough. I'm guessing SP, spirit points, the same thing as MP, magic points. Guessing S T is strength. Ian, I don't know. How are you? I don't know. <gasps> are you okay? Oh, come on, please. Can you hear me? Answer me! It's so nice to see you again. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. I know I'm kind of s skipping over stuff like working out what LU means, for example, but judging from Persona 4, we will learn these things over time. I don't want to spend most of the episode just ex trying to work out what stuff means and then explaining it to you. Please. Remember that. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. So I was out for quite a while then. You're awake. Um, uh, how do you feel? Oh, thank goodness you finally came too. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. But your power, it was amazing. You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And the power you used, we call it Persona. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh, I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. My dad died in an accident when I was little. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. 
He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them too. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. Really? But still... And here I am, telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Bye! Yo, long time no see. What's up? Did you have an upset stomach or something? Anyways, I got I got something to tell you. Actually, oh wait, I'm not supposed to say anything. Sorry, man. <laughs> Jeez, some boys feel vaggy today. I could hear you from all the way over there. here. Huh? You two came separately today, even though you guys are in the same dorm. Ugh. Well, tired of hearing you talk about that. Adam Kuhn, are you feeling better? Adam Kuhn, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm, I'm just going to say Adam. Sorry to hit you with this first thing in the morning, but... Ikutsuki-san wants to talk to you today. Come to the fourth floor of the dorm after school, okay? Don't forget. That's enough about Mamos. I don't see the big deal. I just use elephants. And that wraps it up for the Stone Age. I'm tired of lessons about stones. I'd rather talk about the Senguku era. Japan's history's not that exciting to you then. So I'm paid to do this, so I've got to stop being an adult. Next is the Jomon period. When do the samurai get their day in the sun? I'll just ask a question at random in court a day. Hmm. Hey, Junipei. What was the style of houses in the Jomon period called? Um, how am I supposed to know about something way back then? Quick, Adam, what the heck is he talking about? Uh, well, I'm guessing not caves. Uh, there's really no reason in particular for me to know this, since I don't live in Japan. So it's one of those two. I've got a 50-50 chance of being right. It's no use teaching you guys if you're going to get the simplest questions wrong. Well, it'll all be fine once we hit the A's of Katana's. Well, that's all I get for the wrong answer. He really doesn't care. Well, yes, that's not surprising. I do not live in Japan. Okay, so, this is a good time to end the episode. I will see you next time.